Ooh. Okay, Aveda. Okay, Aveda, is this you like manifesting yourself in candle science form? Um, it smells like something I would pay $100 for from Stone Candles, but it's not $100. Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow Inc. And this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. Today's video is another fragrance haul. This time we have Candle Sciences new spring and summer line. I have no idea what the fragrance notes are on these. I've seen the bottles on their website, but I have not looked at the exact scent notes. So I'm gonna be smelling them for the first time on camera with you. And then I'm gonna put up like on the side of the screen, the fragrance notes so you can see and so that you can laugh at me when I probably get none of them right. Now these fragrances were sent to me by Candle Science. You all know that I give my honest opinion um, on fragrances on this channel. So whatever I think is what you're gonna hear. Um, but anyways, let's get right into today's video and thank you so much for watching. So as you know, if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, I don't have a box cutter. So I just, I use scissors and it's probably not recommended, but it works just fine for me. So I'm just going to show you um, Candle Science uses uh, biodegradable packing peanuts. So you can actually just put these in your sink um, and they will dissolve. They're made of like cornstarch. And so we have Apricot Grove, uh, Mango and Gardenia, um, Cashmere Musk, and we also have Moonflower Nectar. This one has been getting so many good reviews, so I'm curious uh, what the hype is about. And I think that is all in this box and the rest of the collection is gonna be coming from the West Coast. So uh, those I'm gonna have in a few days. So the first fragrance I'm gonna be trying out is this Apricot Grove. Um, and I have not smelled any fragrances that are supposed to be like apricots so you know we're gonna see actually i'm gonna just try the cap first and then if it's super intense i will get a blotter strip um oh wow okay this reminds me so much of like a fancy peach bellini or something or some sort of like it definitely has the apricot note to it but i'm also getting like a lot of peach in this fragrance um it's really a beautiful fruity scent. It straddles the line for me between something that would smell um, like their peach nectar and like something that is like their honeydew melon. So if you combine Candle Science's peach nectar and honeydew melon with apricots, that's what that's the vibes this fragrance is giving me. I'm gonna smell it on a blotter strip as well and let you all know if I'm getting anything different here. Because they usually say that these strips are the best way to be able to smell the top notes and the whole kind of fragrance profile. Um, yeah, so I'm getting about the same thing on this strip. Um, this does smell very powerful to me out of the bottle. Um, so Apricot Grove, I'll be interested in trying this in a candle to see what the hot throw is like. So the next fragrance I'm going to be trying out is called Mango and Gardenia. Now, I don't even know whose idea it was to put mangoes with gardenias, but um, that sounds like kind of an interesting combination. I feel like it wouldn't work out very well, but a lot of times with fragrances, uh, some of my best candles have come from mixing things that maybe I had left over. And it's kind of like um, a kitchen sink type of a mix that turns out to be um, one of my favorite candles. So um, I'm curious what this is gonna be like as I drop the cap. <laughs> I can smell this one like way far back. Like I'm right here and I can smell this one out of the bottle. I can smell something. Um, wow, yeah, this one is really powerful. Um, I'm definitely getting both the mango notes and the gardenia. I'm gonna put this on a scent strip though so I can really get a full picture of what we are looking at here. Yeah, so I'm getting gardenia, but I'm also getting some other florals that are kind of hard for me to pinpoint. 
um, maybe even a little bit of geranium or lily of the valley. Um, it's like a white floral or something with the gardenia. Um, it's a really elegant fragrance, but it's also kind of spunky because of that mango. So it's like a cross between something that is a beautiful floral and a tropical fragrance. Okay, next up, I'm gonna be trying Cashmere Musk. And um, this one I am so curious about. I saw some interesting reviews. Uh, one person said it smells like Carmax or Carmex, like the lip balm stuff that you get at the drugstore. And um, yeah, I have no idea. I'm feeling like this is gonna be a more masculine fragrance, um, but a lot of times um, you just don't know until you try it out. Um, so here goes Cashmere Musk. Let's see what it's gonna do for us. Oh, wow. Okay, this is like if you took, hmm. It's not super potent out of the bottle, um, but from what I'm getting, this is like if you took a um, Moroccan cashmere that Candle Science has and you mixed it with like flannel, um, but this is really weak out of the bottle and that's kind of concerning to me. Um, I did see on their website that this one only had, I believe, two out of three stars for its performance in soy. So it may be that this one makes a better blender. It's an interesting scent. I would definitely be curious uh, to see how it would be in a candle. I'm picking up a lot of musk, but it's not overly powdery. Um, I do think that this, this would make a nice deodorant um, or like a men's soap maybe. Um, I am, my concern with it is that it's just not gonna have the throw that I'm looking for in a candle. Um, but I would definitely try this out in soy. I would try to make this into a candle and I would more than likely end up using it as a blender. Next fragrance I'm gonna be trying out is their Moonflower Nectar. And this fragrance is very talked about. Um, I don't know what any of the scent notes are gonna be, but I just imagine something that's gonna be this beautiful, like mystical, uh, fruity, but mysterious, spiritual almost, uh, bordering in a new age way uh, type of a fragrance. So I have high expectations for this. So we're gonna see what Moonflower Nectar does. Don't let me down, candle science. Oh, wow. Okay, this is interesting. I'm not getting a super strong fragrance out of the bottle here, but what I am getting, what does this remind me of? Okay, this reminds me of something I've smelled before, but it's really hard for me to put a finger on. Um, wow, okay, this is definitely like bordering like a spa type of a fragrance. Um, it's coming out though, very light for me out of the bottle. Um, this one and the uh, Cashmere Musk, um, I'm definitely getting it out of the bottle. I think more than the Cashmere Musk, but it is still very light for me. Um, but this one reminds me so much of something. What is it? This reminds me of a fragrance I've smelled and I think it's by Aztec, but I can't recall what it is. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm definitely getting fruity notes with this. I'm getting some florals, but they're not heady florals. They're more like, kind of like a dark, mysterious. I feel like if you like Twilight Woods by Bath and Body Works, you're gonna be really intrigued by this fragrance. Um, Okay, yeah, this is so like a version of one of Bath and Body Works, like Twilight Woods or like Into the Night or something. Um, I really, really am intrigued by this. Um, I am concerned about how it's gonna throw in soy. Um, I don't know what rating Candle Science has given this, but I would definitely do my own testing on it always. Um, but wow, okay. This one and the mango and gardenia are definitely uh, my favorites from this part of the haul. And by the magic of YouTube timing, we have the other fragrances in the mail. And I'm gonna open these up. I think um, Coconut de Soleil or whatever it's called um, is out of stock. So they couldn't send me that one. Oh no, I did get it. I got Coconut Soleil and White Eucalyptus here. 
Um, I think Seldomar is out of stock. There was one that they didn't have. Um, so I have the whole collection now, minus one. Let's get right into these. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to smell this white eucalyptus for a really long time because their peppermint eucalyptus is one of my all time um, best sellers, at least in the winter. Um, I call it Breathe Easy and it's so, so popular. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. Oh, wow, this is a really beautiful fragrance. Wow, okay, this straddles the line. Yeah, this straddles the line between, wow, I'm almost getting like spearmint as a top note in this. Um, but it's very summery. It almost has like a fresh cut, as I get myself on the nose with it. Um, it almost has like a fresh cut grass note to it too or something. Um, very prominent eucalyptus. Uh, this borders on like a spa luxury type of a fragrance for me. I could see this being called like spring cleaning even, or like, it's just like when you have the windows down in the springtime and you're cleaning your house and you're burning your white eucalyptus candle. I think this may be my favorite one from the whole collection. Wow. Okay, so yeah, fresh grass, I smell in this. I don't know that it's in there, but I definitely smell that. Um, white eucalyptus, I smell uh, spearmint as a top note. And um, this is a fragrance that I wouldn't blend with anything. I think that it's very cohesive on its own. And I think that blending it with another fragrance could potentially um, ruin this one. And last but not least, we have Coconut Soleil. Um, I hope I'm saying that one right. This one, I like to kind of smell sometimes the little, ooh. Okay, Aveda. Okay, Aveda, is this you like manifesting yourself in candle science form? Wow, okay. This is a spa fragrance, 110%. Um, again, this smells like it's bordering on a luxury fragrance. Um, it smells like something I would pay $100 for from Stone Candles, but it's not $100. Um, it is light out of the bottle, but um, at very least, wow, this has like some woody coconut, uh, ambergris coconut sans hall vibes to it. Um, wow, this is, it reminds me a little bit of Candle Science's um, Santal, I think it's called, Coconut and Santal or something. Um, but it's like, this is like a different level almost for today's video. And now I'm already on their website looking to add white eucalyptus, um, uh, white eucalyptus, moonflower nectar, coconut soleil, and potentially cashmere musk onto uh, my candle line. Um, which I didn't really need any new spring and summer fragrances, but they're so good that I cannot pass them up. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Um, if you do want to see more videos like this, um, these are my absolute favorite videos to film and I will see you all in the next one. Happy candle making.